Welcome to the Institutional Review Board for the Social and Behavioral Sciences. Today we're going to talk about how to determine if your project is a human subject research study. So when you think about the plan for your project, there are three questions that you're going to want to ask yourself to see if your project falls under the definition of a human subject research study. We're going to go into a little more detail on how to correctly answer these questions now. Let's look at the first question that you'll want to answer when trying to determine if your project is human subject research. Is the activity research according to the regulations? So what is meant by research here? In this context, research is a systematic investigation designed to develop or contribute to generalizable knowledge. So when we think about your planned project, it helps to ask yourself the next two questions. Does this project involve a systematic investigation? Is the project designed to develop or contribute to generalizable knowledge? To state it more simply, if you have a question that you're answering in an organized way and you plan to share what you learned from this project, then you're probably doing research. Now that you've answered yes to the first question and you know you have a research project, you want to determine if your research project involves human subjects. To answer the second question, does your research involve human subjects, you need a little background. Human subject is a living individual about whom an investigator is conducting research. The investigator could be a professor or a student. But what does that mean, conducting research? Well, for the purpose of a research study, if an investigator does any of the following activities, then the research likely involves human subjects. Firstly, if an investigator interacts with a living individual, asks an individual to take part in an intervention, and or manipulates an individual's environment, then the research likely involves human subjects. Secondly, if an investigator obtains, uses, studies, analyzes, or generates identifiable information, then the research likely involves human subjects. The research study can have either the first or second research activity component or include both types of research activities and be considered human subject research. If you answered no to one or both of the first two questions, then great. It looks like your project may not be considered human subject research. As a reminder, the IRB is responsible for reviewing projects that are human subject research. If you're not sure that you answered the first two questions correctly, or if you would like help with this step, please reach out to the IRB and we will be happy to help you. Additionally, if you need a letter from the IRB confirming that the project you're working on is not considered human subject research, please reach out to us and we can provide this for you. This letter is called a Non-Human Subject Research Determination Letter. Alternatively, if you've answered the first two questions yes, and you know that you're working on a human subject research project now, the next question is to determine if the human subject research project is exempt. At UVA, the institution has decided that the IRB should make this determination. So when you get to this step and you know your planned project is a human subject research study, stop and ask the IRB. If you're working on a human subject research project at UVA, you'll need to write a description of your project plan. This is also called a study protocol. Then you'll need to submit your plan to the IRB for review and approval. It's important to know that the IRB may need some time to review the study plan. Also, please remember that as the principal investigator, you should have a copy of the approval or determination outcome letter from the IRB before any study activities with human subjects take place. After you submit your study protocol and the IRB is reviewing your study, please read and respond to emails. It's common for the IRB to have clarification questions or to request corrections to mistakes that are identified in the study documents. Finally, please ask someone if you're not sure that your study has been approved. When you submit to the IRB, there are a few different types of possible approvals or determination outcomes for your study. The IRB may find that this human subject research project, as described in your study protocol, qualifies for an exempt determination. This means that the study is human subject research, but that it is exempt from the federal regulation requirements under the common rule. If the study does not meet the criteria for an exempt determination, then it may qualify for expedited approval under the federal regulations. For expedited approval, the study must meet the expedited criteria and be minimal risk. If the study does not meet the expedited criteria, or there is the possibility that it is more than minimal risk, then the study will require review and approval by the IRB full board. As the investigator, it's important to document your study activities clearly in the study protocol so that the IRB can appropriately review what will happen in the study. 
Finally, it's important to know what type of approval or determination the IRB granted as the outcome for your study. Once the IRB has approved the study protocol for your human subject research project, study activity can start. If you have questions about human subject research or if you need help making a determination, please reach out to us. We're here to help you.